All right. Now, Brandon, what business is this? <laughs> oh, let's see. I was I would say gutters, but I'm not I'm not sure what there you go. He's <laughs> correct. Boy, you a black man, man of the metaverse. Get you a home. Because if if you if ready to have a home, he may not know what none of this right. stuff is. <laughs> but it's important. Like I say, when we talked about the other show, you need to be studying, you need to be reading, you need to be watching YouTube or stuff that'll benefit you and to make you a better husband, make you a better man. Like this is the kind of stuff we're talking about. That's why we're doing this show today, really. Here's one of the quickest and easiest way <laughs> to get a hundred or the two hundred and fifty dollars mm -hmm. cleaning gutters. Here's the pitch: you you got to do word of mouth, put your stuff on Google. But here's mm -hmm. the thing: people don't know what value, how much, how much having your gutters clogged will hurt your home. Right? What what ways? With a gall, claw guller hold your home, brother. Well, when it rains and your gutters are clogged, then all the water that's supposed to be filtered down and where and drain at the bottom where it's supposed to, it's just falling all over the house and it can kind of flood areas and make it muddy and you know, just just mess up your lawn. That is cool. that is correct. Uh clogged gutters or a house with no gutters, when it rains, the water goes directly to your foundation. And some people foundations are not like South Carolina foundations from the 1970s. And when you say that, what do you mean? <laughs> South Carolina foundations for the 1970s with a crawl space, they dig deep to they found a hard rock. Okay. And then once they found a hard rock, they put bricks on top of it. That's what mm -hmm. the house did. They're not doing that now. No, that's <laughs> they, not, they're not. Now they don't care about hard rocks. They just gonna go <laughs> four inches in the ground. No, four right. feet in the ground. Right. Build a foundation and that'd be it. So right. your house could be sitting on sand. What that, else? That's how my house is. <laughs> and it cave in the front a little bit. Because you know I've probably been here about four years, but yeah, it's caved in the front. The in the backyard is slanted, so it, the the sand kind of run down a little bit. And a, a house up the street, it used to be like a I'm not gonna it wasn't a big body of water, but it was a circle with water in it. It was kind of like a creek or whatever. They it was property though. So what they did, put a bunch of dirt on top, smooth it out, and just put a house right on top. So after a while, it's gonna sink and it's gonna turn because it's no foundation underneath. It's just water underneath. So they don't really care about how they putting up houses nowadays. They'll just throw it up and it'll get approved somehow. Water is, in my opinion, water is the biggest enemy to a house. Mm. So it could cause the most damage. That's why your gutters are very, very vital. With gutter cleaning, uh, you could have a one-store, two-store, or three-store home. So you could need a high-priced ladder to get up there. You could need a blower. Mm -hmm. A blower, to, usually you could blow out the, the gutters. But sometimes you can't. You could easily get some gloves to get down into it. Yeah. When... This place that I live in now, where we need the gutters clean, I require the people to do a water flush. Okay. Now, what so, is that? So, you know, sometimes gutters could get clogged in that yeah, little yeah, stick it, thing. Yeah, uh -huh. so you See, get... when they clean it, they may not go down that low yeah, and missed yeah. it. <laughs> right. And but you won't you... even know because they'll say, yeah, we cleaned everything. We got the gutters clean. We're out of there here. There you go. You won't know. <laughs> right. you, won't, you won't know. It'll be still be clogged, but you just don't know it. So <laughs> right. if, they, if they do a water check that I mm. require... And I see the water flowing out. I know it's it's really clean. Right, and that's a good point to bring up. Like if ever you have somebody clean your gutters, you need to do a water check to make sure they clean the gutters. Cause you ain't gonna be able to see up whether they got everywhere in your gutters. You need to make sure that they test it and it's it's running through. Uh, Hi, my name is Lewis, and this I'm just came to let you know that I have the best financial book for Black people on the market today. This book is designed to help you with things like student loans, housing, employment, and also create income screens so you can support your family and provide security for everybody around you guys. This book is uh, Black owned, and I use a whole lot of Black companies making this book. This book is available on the link below. Make sure you check it out, guys. Check out my reviews. As of today, every person who read my book gave me a phone call about how great the book is, guys. Don't miss this great opportunity to own some black magic, guys. And it's a quick read and it's entertainment. Look at it. I got strippers in the name. But the book is called From Zero to 200K. You can check out this book with the link below. Have a good day. Correct. They do. A lot of places offer a two a one month or two month warranty but no nah, mm -hmm. i ain't i ain't going out there check it when it rains <laughs> I, when you come out there let me check it then right. See, a lot of places just use this blower and just mm. blow it out and that'd be it <laughs> but sometimes if mm. you wait a long time that stuff could get in that loop 
Yeah. Um, and and you they can't get that. And like I say, it could be it could be uh, pine straw. It's just leaves. They could just be packed up in a, in a place and they're just not being able to go through. And you've already cleaned the gutters that you can actively see, but there in those go. in those are holes or whatever, it can be lying. You know, leaves lying in, inside. Also, you could need a rake. So some people may have really dirty glow, uh, gutters. When you blow the leaves off, you're gonna need to get that up. And why do you think you'll need one of these toolkits, Brandon? You may need to repair a gutter, like or or lock it back in place because it's coming down or coming. It's a little loose. You'd be like, look, I can tighten your gutters up a little bit. I'm not sure if you can legally do that, but that's what that's what I'll be thinking. There you go, and you upcharge them for yeah, yeah uh, for sure <laughs> for that. You say, hey, I noticed a gut, uh, one of your gutter clamps came off. I could put one on for you, but that could be extra ten dollars. That's okay right. with it. Yeah, that's that's fine. So yeah. you need one of those, and. You will actually need one of these too when you do painting, because sometimes you got to change the wood out. Right. If they got rotten wood trim work, your yeah. flacia, flacia, that's the thing what they call it. Sometimes your flacia will wad out and you got to change the wood out. Okay. Now, here's another upstart before we go. Y'all remember this? Mm -hmm. This painting, right, Brandon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You also could do deck restores. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you could do everything <laughs> from from the foundation up mm -hmm. so if the found you ain't messing with the posters you give <laughs> for that. but anything off those posters you can mm -hmm. replace and redo mm -hmm. so you right. can do deck stuff too and uh redoing the deck uh it's pretty easy brady you ever done redone the deck mm -mm, but my mom had hers redone and i kind of see how it is as long as you have the tools for the job and watch the youtube videos get the right um you know equipment paint stuff it's not that, it's not that hard like I said, you need to pressure wash it. Like I said, you need to make sure your setting's not up too high where you destroying the wood, but make it know. look fuzzy. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. 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 Well, see, I, I have never done it, so I don't even know what to look for. But but yeah, that's that's basically what you need to do. And like I said, you can kind of jump on YouTube. Everybody's got videos about how to do something as far as house stuff or or doing a deck or or doing the gutters. If you're not too sure about something, you can just jump on there and research it anyway. Now, Brandon, you build some boxes uh for your uh, what, the garden, garden right bed? yeah i did all right based on what i know brandon has enough to get skills now to redo a deck anything mm -hmm. from the studs up yeah because it's all the same it's all thing. the same mm -hmm. now i would tell brandon on a professional level do not use nails you said don't screw. use nails yeah use screw yeah i don't yeah so why wouldn't you but i don't like to use nails i don't i just don't nails are quicker and easier mm -hmm. but Three years later, they coming right back up. <laughs> I just, like right I said, I just up. feel like it's more secure with a screw, just because okay. there's so many grooves in the screw that's holding it in place. How many grooves is in nails? Mm, none. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Basically, there's none. Right. So it's, it's, it's coming right up. So if Brandon had to do a deck, I tell him do it with screws. The customer's mm. gonna be happy, and you won't get no call calls back. Right. And guys, if you don't believe me, don't believe me on this stuff. Here's some of the work I done on this stuff for basic tools. Mm -hmm. Clean these gutters, <laughs> clean them out. That's a letter, very tall letter, you know. So basic tools, that's all you need. And you can get your money up. You could do this for five years in your young twenties. Mm -hmm. Uh hire another black uh, another person, preferably a black person, train them up so they could do it. And you just sit back and get the benefits. Right. 